Inauguration of Condotel Hòa Bình Green Đà Nẵng Đà Nẵng continues to launch new fly routes Live Dance Festival takes place in Đà Nẵng The RT News is happy to have you watching today. On October the first morning, Condotel Hòa Bình Green Đà Nẵng was officially inaugurated and put into operation, becoming the sky-high building with a record construction speed in Vietnam and is the largest Condotel project in Đà Nẵng to welcome the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017. Condotel Hòa Bình Green Đà Nẵng consists of two 27-story towers with more than 1,600 hotel rooms and apartments and a variety of recreational, leisure and entertainment facilities. The project has a favorable location near Thuận Phước Bridge with easy access to Đà Nẵng International Airport, City Center, Mỹ Khê Beach and Hội An Anson Town. Imitating the model of Marina Bay Sands complex in Singapore, the rooftop swimming pool of this condotel is the first swimming pool plated with gold in Vietnam. Hobbing Green Đà Nẵng is the only condotel in Vietnam that is operated by the world's prestigious real estate management group, the Ascot. This is also the main venue for receiving international delegations during APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017. According to the Da Nang Statistic Office, the total retail sales of goods and services in September continues to grow considerably, achieving the turnover of nearly 6,700 billion dollars, increasing the total retail sales of goods and services in the first nine months of 2017 to 55,800 billion dollars, an increase of more than 11% over the same period last year. Excluding the factor of increased pricing, the turnover of retail sales in the city experienced an increase of nearly 10% as compared to that of last year, in which the state economic sector achieved over $3,200 billion, increasing by 25.5% year-on-year. The private economic sector achieved more than $33,400 billion, increasing by 13.5%. Individual economy reached $16,000 billion, increasing by 5%, and foreign invested economic sector reached nearly $3,100 billion, increasing by 10%. Such sectors as commerce, accommodation, tourism, and catering services underwent a significant increase. This can be regarded as a favorable condition to boost the consumption demand power in Da Nang by the end of the year. The Da Nang People's Committee is urgently completing the adjustment to the master plan for developing the city's tourism industry to 2025 with a vision towards 2030 and the plan on building preferential mechanisms and policies for creating breakthrough in the tourism development of the three localities of Thư Thiên Huế, Đà Nẵng, Quảng Nam. In addition, the city's tourism industry is continuing to conduct the market research promoting the domestic market and key foreign markets including Northeast Asia, Southeast Asia, promoting exploitation of the potential international markets such as France, Germany, the UK, Australia, North America, and the new market of India. From now until the end of this year, Da Nang will continue promoting and launching new international fly routes from the key foreign markets to Da Nang in order to stimulate tourism demand. With the message joining hands in making Da Nang increasingly civilized, friendly and hospitable city, the Da Nang Smile campaign will continue to take place until December 2017. The three target groups of the campaign are state management agencies, including officials working in the sectors of customs, police, immigration, aviation and tourism, local businesses operating in the tourism sector and that related to tourism, such as restaurants, hotels, tour guides and taxi drivers, and local residents. The campaign aims to create good habits and civilized behaviors among the staff working in the tourism sector and that related to tourism, as well as the workforce of the businesses providing tourism services and other services. 
In the first nine months of 2017, the city's departments, associations and localities have synchronously implemented policies to support and mobilize the resources to help the poor in healthcare, education, housing, loans or rice allowance, lifting more than 2,800 households out of poverty. In 2017, the City People's Committee delegated to the Social Policy Bank Da Nang branch more than $70 billion to create favorable conditions for poor, near-poor households and those who have just been out of poverty to access to loans to switch to new type of production. Together with the government's funding, in the first nine months of this year, the Social Policy Bank offered preferential loans to more than 3,000 poor and near-poor households to help them do business, with the total outstanding loans of more than $300 billion. In addition, the departments, associations and localities have mobilized for the capital resources and carry out many supportive solutions as well as newly built and repaired houses for 493 poor households. As a result, more than 2,800 households escaped from poverty, reaching 64.23% of the set plan. After 10 years of testing, the Ho Chi Minh City Pasteur Institute is in the process of evaluating the safety and efficacy of dengue fever vaccine in the third stage of the experimental clinical project with more than 2,300 children. The clinical trial project has been conducted for six years in the two localities of Mi Tho City in Tinjang Province and Long Xuyen City in An Yang Province. These two provinces had high number of dengue fever cases over many years. Vietnam is one of the five countries in Asia taking part in the third stage of the experimental clinical project of the dengue fever vaccines. So far, there are 17 countries including 11 ones in Americas and 6 ones in Southeast Asia that have been licensed to circulate vaccines against dengue fever. If the dengue fever vaccination test in Vietnam show good results, it will give people nationwide a good chance to prevent dengue fever infection. The City People's Committee has just agreed to receive the Project Da Nang Tegu Park and Book Coffee Shop, which is sponsored by Tegu City, South Korea. This project is expected to be located at the Hoa Kung Culture House in Hoa Kung Bakwa, Hai Chau District. The Hai Chau District will be the unit receiving this 45,000 USD project. Under the project, more playing facilities, reading room, as well as Vietnamese, English and Korean books for children and adults will be provided. The Municipal People's Committee also assigned the People's Committee of Hai Chau District to coordinate with the Department of Construction to implement procedures for appraisal and approval of Da Nang, Tegu Park and Book Coffee Shop's construction design as prescribed before September 30, 2017 and submit to the City People's Committee for consideration and approval before October 15, 2017. On October the first evening, the Communist Youth Union of City Agencies block held the Mid-Autumn Festival for children living in difficult circumstances in Wuhan Sun District. The program attracted the participation of numerous children who came to enjoy the art performances, magic shows and lion dance. At the program, children ate traditional mid-autumn specialties and played together in the exciting atmospheres of the Full Moon Night Festival. On this occasion, the organizing board granted 150 sets of gifts to disadvantaged children in the locality, aiming at offering them a happy and joyful mid-autumn season, thereby encouraging them to continue striving to study well. On October the first afternoon at the Tinson Sport Arena took place the Lion Dance Festival for the teenage teams around the city. This is an annual activity to welcome Mid-Autumn Festival organized by the Da Nang Children's Cultural Palace. Participating in the Mai Hoa Thung performance of the festival were six Lion Dance teams namely Vương Anh Đường, Phước Nguyên Đường, Bạch Hổ, Vũ Minh Đường, Xuân Nghĩ Đường and Thanh Phong. The festival attracted a lot of local residents, especially young people. Welcoming the Mid-Autumn Festival 2017, 
the Da Nang Children's Cultural Palace has organized a series of interesting cultural activities such as lantern making competition, Wu Moon Night Festival, etc., presenting gifts to the workers' children at the industrial zones and children in the district of Lin Chiu and Sun Cha. That's the end of today's news. Please remember to check out drt.danang.vn for more news and updates. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.